Tonight's cuisine adventure brings us all the way out to downtown Carrollton as we're meeting up with some of our friends at Nama Asian Fusion. They're already inside, so let me go in and meet up with them. So here is the menu. We got starters, various different kinds of sushi. We've already heard Thai say sushi go a million and one times. Some nigiri and sashimi. Various hibachis. And then their entrees. Try to move this so y'all can see it all. Very, very good. We ordered the cowboy roll to start with. And Joshua and Kelly ordered the volcano roll. Yep. This is a salad. And before it disappears, <laughs> Jess and Kelly are sharing a uh, ginger salad, and Joshua has his own. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to get it before it disappears. You should have gotten Charlie's sushi. Oh, and there was also edamame at the table. We had to make sure that Ty is far away, because Ty is allergic to edamame. And then Charlie has some sushi over there, which has been demolished. Hi. Oh, there's Ty. <laughs> Ty is still wearing his Mardi Gras beads. He is celebrating Mardi Gras all the time. All right, Joshua and Kelly are sharing this volcano roll. Oh, by the way, that green stuff is wasabi. Yep, Ty's with me because Ty, again, everything's sushi right now. And he is doing wasabi. Wasabi, and there's the cowboy roll. Josh is angry because I made him not touch his food yet. He got, he got sweet and sour chicken and fried rice. And then Damien got some bang bang shrimp and fried rice. Bang bang. Ms. Carol then got, is it filet? Filet, mm -hmm. fried rice. And fried rice bowl. Kelly, I'll you. Kelly and Jess are sharing okay. bang bang shrimp and fried rice. And then I got the pho. I've been wanting to try this forever. I've never had it. And we just never go to places that have it. And so I was so excited to see this on the menu. I got it with um, ribeye, so some steak in there. And I know I've got to mix my stuff in. And I got a side of fried rice. Well, the children over there are uncultured children having chicken nuggets and french fries. The food was fantastic. Everybody stuffed. We've got some to-go bags down here. Children still partying it up. We're closing the place down. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. And if you can tell by looking outside, it's the next night. Um, we had a great night out. That food was great. The drive wasn't, but to be with friends, it was definitely worth it. It was a good night. Um, we also kind of want to chronicle this for you guys as we go through it. Um, but Mr. Dansby here is going through puppy training. So uh, we had Marco over here earlier today to go through the first lesson with him. And when Hickson was a puppy, um, we had Marco come and train him. And Hickson is one of, if not the most well-behaved dogs that I've ever been around now. And so we're hoping that'll rub off on this little fuzzy munchkin right here. Um, you know, Dansby's been in a couple of our videos before. Y'all have seen him poke his head in and lick me on the face and go crazy. He's still a puppy. Uh, he's only about nine months, and he is, uh, he's a Muppet. At least that's what we say. I, I say he looks like Bean Bunny from the Muppets. Um, it's those little beady eyes of his. But he is just full of energy. So we're working on staying right now, and Jess may walk with him here in a second and he's got to work on just staying beside her and listening to commands and starting to understand what the commands are but he's an anxious little guy so he doesn't know what to think just yet yep. so he's supposed to stay right beside jess on that left side he's doing good this is actually really good he struggles with me for some reason. Well, he was struggling with Hickson being right there at the door. Yeah, that's going to be the Hickson. hardest part is him. Sit. Him doing this instead of being with Hickson. Because his life revolves around 
being with Hickson. I apologize for any background noise y'all hear. I don't know what the boys are up to. Oh, he's got a Harry Potter wand. Oh, Ty's, Ty's got a Harry Potter wand. So. We got to fix you. You're not where you need to be. There you go. Good boy. See, he's still very, very skittish. But again, this is just the first day, and we'll chronicle for you guys how he does as this journey progresses. For those of y'all that manners. might be interested, yep, we got to teach him some manners. For those of y'all that may be in the area and wondering how dog training may work out for your dog, Marco is fantastic, and so we just want to be able to show the results to you guys of his work, and then... Of course, our practice and work with Dansby until he learns. See if he'll sit and stay. Come on. Dansby, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good. Dansby, down. He thinks he wants to, he wants to shake. Cause he's he does no shake. Good. Good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay, let's put this up here. You're good. Dancy, stay. Good job, Good buddy. Good boy. Good job. Good. Good evening, everybody. We are with our friends again tonight for another evening Dad, cuisine adventure. From Smoky Mountain. And we are at the steakhouse up here in Rock Mart. Let's go. This is a huge, huge, huge local favorite, and it is incredible. We have been here a couple times before, but it has been a while. I think the last time we were here, Jess and I came for either our anniversary or my birthday, but it's been it's been a few years, I believe, since we've been here. But this place is fantastic. Already in the mood to ce celebrate St. Patty's Day in a few weeks. Here's the menu. It's just one page. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Appreciate it. So, appetizers, salads, all the different kinds of steak and beef, ribs, chicken dishes, seafood, sandwiches, kids' menu, sides, and drinks. But of course, it's the steakhouse, so it's all about this right up in here. Got some bread service to start us off here. It's got this incredible seasoning on it. These are going to be gone quickly. They brought some for the kids to have as well. All the kids are down here, so they have their own table. All right, the champions ordered some fried mushrooms here, so we've got some of that. And then I'll walk down here to the kids and show y'all. Kids got some cheese fries. Looks like it's got cheese and bacon and some ranch. Okay, vlogger fail here. We we got rid of all of our other appetizers uh, before I could film them. So we got uh, some potato skins, which you can see they've got cheese, they've got bacon, they also have green onion and they had tomatoes on them. And then we got some fried green tomatoes and some fried pickles as well. So basically when they asked if we wanted any appetizers, we just said yes, all of them. One of everything, please. Yes, one of, one of all of the appetizers, please. Here's everybody else. I'm showing everybody else. Damien's trying to get out of the way. Alrighty, so 
here is the salad that came out. Again, I'm not a big tomato or onion person. I'm very, very plain when it comes to salad, but it looks great. I put some pepper on it, got some Thousand Island dressing, and these salads are great. And this is what we're dealing with. Look at this huge, big meat ribeye. Damien's wanting to, Damien's wanting to compare meat. We both, we both got the ribeye. Did Joshua get the ribeye too? Joshua, do you want in on this Absolutely. meat comparison? Y'all can compare it. I'm going to eat one. Okay, I also, <laughs> also got a loaded baked potato or sweet potato. Kelly got a steak stir fry minus the steak. <laughs> minus the gristle. Minus the gristle. Carolyn got the filet. Jess down there got the sirloin. She looks so happy. Yep, Sophie got the kid sirloin. And Ty got chicken fingers, fries. Chad got grilled cheese and fries. And Charlie got mac and cheese and fries. So now I can dig into this. All right, I've almost cleaned up everything. The desserts are coming out. Damien got a cheesecake. Kelly got some vanilla ice cream. No, that's mine. Charlie got a brownie delight, and then we still have more to come. Where's the spoon right there? All right, so chocolate lava cake for Sophie and Chad. Ty's doing Charlie's hair. And then the ladies got another chocolate lava cake as well. We're done with dinner. Just outside the restaurant. And now the children are playing for his lava. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know many of y'all may have tuned in expecting to see um, uh, more of our Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg video, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys uh, our going-ons from this weekend once we were home. Uh, we had such a good time. This break was basically like two breaks in one since we spent the first half on vacation and then had the second half here at home and got to spend a lot of that time with our friends. Um, I had the opportunity to take the boys to see the new Ant-Man and the Wasp movie and met up with um, a couple of their uh, babysitters and big sisters that they love so much and that made their whole day on that day. And then as you guys saw, we got to go eat with some of our friends at the Asian Fusion Place out in um, uh, Carrollton. And then on Saturday, um, we had Dansby get trained and got to work with him on that and pretty much stay at home for the most of that day. And then Sunday, we got to spend several hours with my mom, um, which was good after not seeing her for a couple weeks. And then on top of that, uh, being able to go out with our friends again and eat at the steakhouse, which we absolutely love. Uh, the only downside was uh, all of us got to bed quite a bit later last night than we usually do. So everybody was dragging this morning. Chad in particular um, had a really rough day today because of how tired he was. So the plan tonight is hopefully for all of us to be able to get into bed a little earlier and um, hopefully have a much better Tuesday than we had on Monday. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We love doing these weekend vlogs uh, with you guys. We've got another home vlog that we'll be doing um, coming up really soon. Um, may put in one or two more vacation videos before we get to that, but I'm really looking forward to showing you guys that home vlog and talking about some things we got. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, as usual, please make sure to hit that like button down below as it goes a long way to help our channel. And um, feel free to ask any questions or comments uh, down below as we love to interact with you guys. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please tell your friends about us. Bring some more folks over to Coker Culture because again, our, our goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. And of course, we talked to the boys about if we got to 500, we'll do merch. And of course, they want Coker Culture merch badly. Um, so tell your friends, hit subscribe, help us out in reaching that goal. And again, for those of y'all that are loyal um, to us and tune in week in, week out, 
it really, really, really means the world to both Jess and I. Um, we truly appreciate it. And of course, that goes for Chad and Ty as well, because uh, you guys, this community is what helps make this channel what it is and helps spreads that message uh, of positivity that we really want to get out there to folks. So uh, again, I say thank you. And until next time, what's your why?